Hey guys, welcome to Code Decode. Today in this video, we are going to cover some Java programming interview questions. I'll be focusing much more upon the string rotation today. So this is a very important interview question that what is string rotation and how to rotate a string from left or from to the right and with n number of characters, you have to rotate your string towards left or towards right. So let's see the logic first and then coding will just be a byproduct of your logic. So suppose I am going to take an example of decode. So how many letters do we have here? 0, 1. So total length is 6 characters. Now if, if I say you rotate it to left, whenever you have asked that you have to rotate a string, what you should always do is start imagining. So imagine there is one circular loop here which will take your characters from left to right. So if I give you rotate with one letter. So your D will go left rotation and your string will be E, C, O, D, E, D. If I say left rotate with two. So your these two letters will move like D, E will go through this channel to the end. And your string will be C, O, D, E. D E. These are the two letters which travel from front to end. So this is how left rotation goes. Let's see how to rotate right. For the right rotation, you should imagine a loop to make it rotated. So your alphabets will move from here to here. Now if I say alphabet number is 1, so only E will go from here to here. So E will be the first part of it. So my resultant will start with E, T, E, C, O, D. And not E because E has come to the front. If I say rotate it with two alphabets, D E will go to the front. And now your resultant string will be D E D E C O. Why not D E? Because it is already moved towards right. So this is string rotation. Now there will be two questions that will be asked. Check and tell whether the given string is a rotation of the string. So if I say decode the possible strings that is rotated may be left or right rotated. So if I do left rotation with 2, the output will be code DE. If I write, rotate it right, it will be DE, DECO. So these are the two possible left and right rotations with two alphabets. And how, now the next question will be how do you check whether this and this are rotated strings. So how do you check this CODEDE -E -E is a rotated format of decode? So the logic can be, if I append this given string two times. So this is my given string. If I append it twice. So output will be D-E-C-O-D-E. D-E-C-O-D-E. -E -E, right. Now these two must be the substring of this concatenated string. So does C-O-D-E-D-E -D -E becomes the substring of this concatenated one? So I can see C-O-D-E-D-E -E -E is a substring of this concatenated string. Now, does this right rotated string is a substring of this concatenated string? So, let's search for some D, E, D, E, C, O and I can find it. So, this is the second right rotated string which is a substring of this concatenated string which is concatenated twice the given original string. This was my original string. These are left and right rotated. These are the substring of the concatenation of the same original string. How, how would you prove that the, uh, a string is not a rotation of the original string? So how do you create a non-rotated string? So I can say DE, O, C, D, E, where I have just swapped two characters. This is not a rotated string. This is swapped string. So this is not a rotated string. So you will never find D, E, O, C, D, E, as a substring of this whole string. Can you find it? See, this is DE and this is DE. But there is no OC as a trail behind this DE. So you cannot find DE, OC, DE ever in this concatenated string as a substring. So this is not. It should give you false. And these two should give you true. If this much is clear, how do you find whether a string is rotated or not? Let's go quickly and see the live demo of it. It's time for appraisals at most of our offices, right? And that means high expectations. But shouldn't appraisal mean more than just salary hikes? A good job is so much more than just money. After working hard for the whole year, people expect to be valued, appreciated, promoted and get some liberty to make some decisions. But when you don't get all of these things, there's a voice in your head that motivates us to move on and get something better, isn't it? 
एनी वे स्टार्टअप हैव वेरी हाई डिमांड फॉर एक्सपीरियंस पीपल बट देन यू विल एस्क मी वे टू फाइंड सच स्टार्टअप एंड फाइंडिंग अ न्यू जॉब इज ऑल्सो प्रिटी डिफिकल्ट ऑन हायर एक्ट यू कैन गेट बोथ ऑफ दीज थिंग्स इन इट्स इंडिया फर्स्ट डायरेक्ट हायरिंग एप With high rank, you can smoothly search for jobs, chat directly with startup founders and CEOs, which is very big thing, and get hired quickly. Also, no consultants are involved here. Over one lakh twenty thousand plus startups are already hiring on high rank. So to find a job, you don't have to do anything. Just click on the link in the given in the description box and install the application. Then create a profile by answering few questions, and algorithm of the app will automatically match you with the relevant job profiles. Also, don't worry about the data privacy because Hirek never shares your personal data with any recruiters without your permission. So click on the link in the description below and switch to the job that you always wanted on Hirek. So this is my main method. I say my string is. I'll take the same example. Decode. I'll name it as string. Original string. Now I'll call a method check for rotation, and I'll pass original string and one more string which is to be checked. So string to be checked. So let's check this c o d e d e first. C o d e d e. This is left rotated, right? How did you rotate it left? Taking these two and appending it to the end. Imagine a circular loop here and move your n number of alphabets from that string to the end. So this is left rotated twice. So I'll pass this also to my method, and let's put a logic in this method. So I'll create a method. It will return me boolean, and I'm going to print it. I'll add a return statement, and now let's put a logic to it. So the logic says concatenate the original string twice. Let's create a concatenated. So the basic logic is string is immutable. So when you try to add the original string twice, the concatenated string is a new string created, and original is not touched at all. Now the Logic says if your concatenated string dot contains a character sequence. So what is the sequence? This is the sequence is to be checked. If it contains, then return true. Else return false. Simple logic. A very simple two or three line logic. If the concatenated string contains a substring of to be checked, then return true. So we have seen. That C O D E D E is a substring of the concatenated string, so it should return me true. Let's run it. Answer is true. Now let's check D E D E C O, which is nothing but the right rotation of the string. Now is this the rotation? It says true. Now let's see whether this. Swapping of characters is a rotation. So D E O C D E is not a rotation. It should should give me false. Output is false. So our code is perfectly fine and it's running awesome. If you have more ways, you should let me know in the comment section. We'll move ahead from checking whether string is a rotation or not to to write a program to rotate your string. Anti clockwise or clockwise, left or right, by the given number of elements. So, if I say rotated by two, your code decode will be rotated by two alphabets. So, we are going to write a program to rotate our given string left and right. So, let's see the logic first. Once the logic is clear, program is very easy. So, let's see how to rotate it left first. It's easy. If you can see, this is my original string. Now, you have to left rotate with Rotation given as two. So this is my partition. This is how my string goes, and output should be C O T E D E. So my partition is R equals to two. So output should be concatenation of two strings. That is, first you should take this. This is the first part, and this is the second part. So can can you see this? Is, these are the two substring of a given big string, and your substring goes from R. So R was two. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, and five. I need my resultant string to be started from R. So it should be substring starting from R. That is two plus. So this will give me C O D because substring method with given just initial beginning index is two will take all the elements after the beginning index. So substring of two will give me code. And now I should take the first two. So original string is a substring zero comma r, because r is not included. R is excluded. So it will take zero and one and not two. It should be d e. So output should be c o d e d e. This is the required one, and this is the logic.
Now let's implement this logic quickly. So I'll print the rotated string and my method should be left rotate and I'll pass the string. So I'll pass my original string decode and I'll expect that a rotated method will be returned. So a string will be returned which will be left rotated. So I'll create rotated string and I'll return that rotated string. And now the logic. What logic did we create? We need a substring from the partition. I just don't need the original string. I also need an integer value. Rotation characters. So I say rotation characters is 2. I need rotation to be done with 2 elements. So I'll pass the rotation element here. Rotation characters here. I'll take int r. So you need to rotate your given string decode with 2 characters. So for the 2 characters I need a substring with 2. And my partition key is 2 only. Because from 2 I need it. So I need a substring. This is my original string decode. Now I need to move these to left. So I will be needing a substring. So original string dot substring and begin index. Given a begin index, it will take rest all the characters. So what should be my begin index? It will be R. C is 2. So R is 2 and I need to move from 2. So substring of 2 plus this line will give me code and my output expected is code de so i again need original string dot substring and now i'll take start index and end index remember substring has end index excluded so end index minus one is the index till which your string substring will be formed so zero and one will be the two characters and what are these two zero and one characters of the original string that is de so this will give me de and my output is co de de which is expected and i'll return that so if i left rotate my decode output should be co de de let's run it co de de is my left rotation so congratulations, you now successfully understood how to left rotate your string using the substring method. Now similarly, you should know how to right rotate it also. So let's right rotate our string now. I'll again create a rot rotated string for you and I'm going to return it. Now my original string is decode. What I want is right rotation. So what will be the right rotation? The right rotation will create a loop from here to here and put your alphabet to the front. So with two rotation, these two alphabets will go from here to here and it will be DE, DE, CO. Simple, right rotation, right? Now what should be my logic? Now this DE is my partition key. So let's, let's create a logic here first and then we'll create the code for it. Length of the string is 6, 0 to 5. Number of elements to be rotated is 2. So these two elements will be rotated from here to here. So DE will move from this string to this and will be appended to the front. So output sh should be DE, DE, CO. So you can see the partition is here. In left, the partition was at 2 only. So if you can see partition is length minus R, that is 6 minus 2, that is from 4. So we need something like substring starting from partition key till end. So it will give me DE. Plus, I again need a substring from the original string. But now only four characters. That means again part till partition key. That is only four characters because the last two are taken. So now I need substring starting from zero to partition key. So zero to partition key will give me DECO. And hence the resultant becomes DEDECO. So always while creating a right rotation i'll always suggest create a partition because it's not as simple as creating a rotation with r it's not r anymore which you are going to play with you're going to play with partition now and partition will be nothing but total length minus the number of elements you need to move that will be a partition and that will be your index from where you need to break your string so let's create a partition here in partition will be original string dot length this will be 6 minus rotation characters that is 2 so my partition key is 4 right the length of uh, d e c o d e is 6 rotation character given is 2 so the partition is 4 
Now rotated strings logic will say substring of P. So original string from original string fetch a substring from partition. So what will this give you? Original string starting from partition. My partition was 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So DE will be the substring. The remaining one. So again substring dot your begin index should be 0. But end index should be partition only. So from 0 to partition, 0 to 4 will be DECO. So it will be DECO. And the resultant will be DEDECO, which is expected. So DEDECO is the expected output. Let's see whether we are able to do this. So DEDECO is a right rotated string. And congratulations, you have successfully rotated your D code, which is the original string with two K alphabets, right rotated. That's the right rotation. Now let's try with code again. If I try left rotation with code, the two will go here. So it should be DECO. So it should be DECO for left rotation. And for right rotation, DE should come ahead. So it should also be DECO. So if I run it, both my string should be DECO and DECO because we have rotated it from the middle. So left rotation from the middle or right rotation from the middle will give you the same result. Now, knowing this DECO is the same, you can also say that right rotation can also be done using the left rotation but by changing few parameters in this. Put some logic and let me know in the comment section how you can right rotate your string using the left rotation itself just by changing some parameters here and there. If not, I'll put the solution to that also in the comment section. So let's see in the next video. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to support us. And please let us know in the comment section if you need more such questions. I'll, I'll provide solutions to them also. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching this video till end. In the season of appraisal, if you want something more than just salary increment, then don't forget to download the Hirec tab. Here you can share with directly all the startup founders without any consultancy. Please click on the link in the description below. And with Hirec, career high, karke to dekho.